before we opened Chai Seng Club. I was doing everything out of the back door of Cooper Road. So every night, I was like, I need to find a place where I can make a bigger impact. Sometimes I would drive around and I stumble upon this site. They showed me around the place. I was like, oh my god, I think this place is going to be epic. So I decided to look for a designer. It turned out that I knew somebody. Her name was Alita. Transparency is an important part of PPP. So we built a structure within the courtyard with the roasting machines front and centre. We wanted that whole bar vibe. So we installed a 360 degree coffee bar. I think that was the only coffee bar that was 360. In 2012, when we first opened, we were sleeping upstairs. I knew we really couldn't afford this space. The day we opened, every weekend we were packed. I don't know how to explain it, but there was this energy. Everybody behind the bar was non-stop working. In 2014, we realised that, oh sh**, every weekend there's a new cafe opening. So I think we had to find a way to survive. And we did the complete opposite. So we bought more expensive coffee, paid fairer price to farmers, and making sure that we stuck to the ethical sourcing that we did. So this was a chance to also support all things that we cared for. So that's why we came out with the event called Brew. And doing that block party did not just help us, it helped the Jalan Besar district. We're looking forward to the next decade. In a way, the journey has brought us all back to where we started, brought us back to the farms, brought us back to the coffee, brought us back to the people, and sticking through to connecting people with coffee.